Hello! On this video I'd like to show you my favorite erasable color pencils I use for sketching and review them for you. My preferences tend to vary over time, but it's been a while since I've been using erasable color pencils instead of graphite for drawing, so I figured I would talk to you about my two favorite brands, Prismacolor Colorase and Pilot Inno, and why I prefer them over graphite. I rather use color pencils for sketching instead of graphite because they don't smudge as graphite does. They leave less residue on your hands as well as on the side pages. Also color pencils can blend very nicely with the final colored illustration and I think for these two reasons alone they are my personal preference. I tried several brands of erasable colored pencils, but I mainly use Colorase and Inno, so let me compare these two and see their pros and cons. Colorase are traditional pencils, whereas Pilot Inno are mechanical. I honestly love both, but I tend to use more mechanicals because I find them handy to sketch outside. Since they don't need to be sharpened, you can simply load your pencil with leads and go. They are very useful if you only want to take your sketchbook and pencil with you. Also, Inno has a retractable lead on point, so your leads are always safe and well protected. On the other hand, mechanical pencils tend to be a bit heavier than traditional, but that doesn't really bother me at all. Colorase comes in more color options than Inno. I own these three you see here, the blue, purple and lavender, and I also have a vermilion that I don't seem to be able to find. As far as I know, you can find boxes of 12 or 24 different colors, or you can buy them individually in art stores. As for Pilot Inno, you can get them in 8 different colors, notably less than Colorase. If you live in Spain like I do, although I think this might extend to part of Europe, both brands can be tricky to find. Prismacolor being an American brand, they don't seem to distribute their products outside the US. Or at least, this is what a couple of kind art store owners told me. It's the same for Pilot Inno. Their pencils come from Japan and the pencils themselves are still pretty easy to find, but they've stopped distributing the leads and soon enough, I guess, they'll stop distributing the pencils too. However, you can still find both in some cool art stores that I will list below, or you can find everything online, of course, although probably a bit more pricey than at your local art store. Both brands are erasable and they do erase very nicely. This may depend on the colors, but in my experience, I feel quite confident to say Inno generally erases better than Colorase. The top rubber is also better with Inno, although I honestly barely use it in either of the brands. Pilot Inno has become my favorite pencil for sketching. If I have to choose just one supply to sketch, I choose this one. So let's take a better look at this pencil. I didn't buy all the colors at once, instead I tried them at the store and bought those that felt softer to me since that's a feature I look for when buying pencils. I found the light blue and the pink one to be the creamiest, so I got those two first and I used them so much that I ended up buying the purple one too, which is drier but still also very nice to work with. Inno pencils are intended for sketching rather than coloring, although they layer up really well, so maybe you can use them for both. I use mine to sketch with a light hand, then I outline my sketch with the same pencil, and I even use them for shadows or for coloring some bits of my drawing. It is truly a very versatile pencil. The pencil's grip is made in rubber, which makes it comfy. I like chunky pencils. These are my Sakura mechanical pencils for graphite leads, and despite I generally love the Sakura brand, these are a bit too thin for me and not as comfortable having no grip. 
I guess one of the best things about Eno is that you can get yourself the mechanical pencil of your choice and simply buy Eno leads if you'd like to try them out. Just beware the pencil has to be 07 because as far as I know that's the only size Eno leads come in. I got the pencils too simply because they are easier to identify in my pencil case and because I happen to find them very convenient, but otherwise you can just buy the leads. A little downsider though is that they only come 6 leads per little container and you go through them pretty fast. I hope you found this review useful, if you did please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and I'll see you very soon, bye!